Thanks all. Let's go over and meet yes. our wine expert, Tom Canavan. It's <laughs> not true. I thought you were a sneaky drink there. Yeah, just, Tom, testing it. It's, it's miniature wine this week. What's going on? It, it's listen. This apparently. We're drinking more of these small, single-serving bottles, just with one and a half or two glasses in them. They're very popular. And um, the reason I've been told is that so many people are taking them along to summer events, you know, along to festivals and along to parties that they go to, outdoor parties. So they've proven really popular. Little single-serve bottles in a screw cap and very handy. Are they any good, though? Is the wine any good? Well, you know, I'm going to be absolutely honest here and say that the quality is kind of slightly variable. It tends to be cheaper wines and it tends to be wines that are made in quite kind of big volumes so they can the supermarkets can order them up in these small sizes so what are the chances of me laughing this week tom i think <laughs> no listen i've got a low alcohol wine so you'll not be happy no. at all yeah. so uh, <laughs> no laughing matter there, Michelle. smelling salts for Miss McMahon. so you've, you've trolled through <laughs> and you found three <laughs> for us that are the kind of best you think that's an offer i think that's right and these are all you know really quite decent bottles of wine are small bottles of wine. I think these are, you can't go wrong with any of these three, I would say. Thank you. How do you start? Okay, starting off with a wine from Tesco. It's a Californian Chardonnay. It's the Light Choices Californian <laughs> Chardonnay. Um, £1.79 for an 18.7 CL bottle, which is about a glass and a half from a standard bottle. And it's only 8% alcohol, this one. So have a little go at it. I mean, a really nice Chardonnay nose. It's quite authentic. It's got that kind of slightly buttery kind of quality. And if you have a sip, Mm. What do you <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I think that's got a really horrible aftertaste to it, don't it? To, oh, to be honest Stephen, with you. Well, listen, I mean... Tastes like apple juice. Mm, yeah, de-alcoholised wine. It's been marketed really at people who are watching their weight as well. Oh, that should be me, I should be loving it. <laughs> I mean, not if you don't like it. They've got a little sticker in the bottle that says it's only got less than 100 calories in it for two full glasses of wine. So that's where it's marketed that. I think it does a decent job, um, but... You pay your money, you take your choice. And does it affect the, t the taste when they take the alcohol out? Is there I think some it does kind of a trade off there, yeah? Yeah, there's a trade off. Yeah. They basically they use technology to remove alcohol in theory without who, removing who anything else. Well, there's a lot of pressure, you as you know, you know, to, to try and keep alcohol levels down okay. to, and to live a healthier lifestyle. Absolutely. Right, well, we can do a healthier lifestyle. That. Cast that next one aside one. and try the next okay. one. Okay, next one. I hope you like this a bit more. This one comes from Marks and Spencer's. It's the Las Valeras Rosé. Comes from Spain. And there's <laughs> two full glasses in the little bottle of this um, at £1.99. So have a little go. Even when I just went to inhale that one, it's quite something, isn't it? It's aromatic. <laughs> now, see, I think that's okay. It's got quite a nice strawberry kind of fruit flavour mm. to it. Um, finish is quite dry. So if you imagine it with something like a um, nice piece of poached salmon or maybe with some cold meat, I think it's really quite a nice summer rosé. Not the best, but I think it's a decent, a decent little bottle. What do you think? All right, no, all right, that's better than the first one. Yeah. Oh well, listen, we're making progress. We're somewhere. Shall okay. we move on to and number three? Last. Yeah, let's try the rest. Listen, I'm trying my best. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> number three, we've got a red, as you can see, and this one comes from Sainsbury's. It's the Sainsbury's Australian Shiraz. Um, it's one pound sixty-four for the eighteen point seven cl size, one and a half glass size, um, and it's a good kind of classic Australian Shiraz. This one, it's got all those. Peppery and dark fruit, you know, you know, blackberry kind of notes um, on the palate. That's right. Lots of fruit. It's nice, yeah, it's really peppery, hits the spot. It? One of those wines that's going to be perfect with something um, off the char grill, yeah, the steak. Any barbecues left this summer? If, that if we still got that. the weather with a barbecue, it would be great too, I think. Okay. Um, you know, not the highest quality wines in the world, but if you're in the market for these small bottles, three decent choices. Well, let's talk about the price here, because most of those were about one fifty to two pounds. How does that compare if you extrapolate up to the full bottle? Are you getting ripped off in terms of the, the difference? <laughs> ripped off, I don't know, but I'll tell you, it works out a lot more expensive. I did the sums on it, and a wine like this one, which is three pounds ninety nine for a full bottle, one sixty four for a quarter bottle. Yeah. So if you do the sums, it's well over six pounds you're paying for the mm. same equivalent amount of wine. So there's no reason to buy them unless you're looking specifically for the small well sizes. Well, I was going to say, you would only buy a bottle that size if you're only planning on just having a, a light lunch outdoors and you're having a wee picnic wine or something. Because either that, you would buy the full bottle. Exactly. But, you know, if you're somebody who uh, is the only drinker in the house, the only wine drinker in the house, and you don't want a full bottle, then you can hit the spot. OK, the red right. is my favourite for you, Michelle. I have to say the red as well for yeah. me. I, didn't, I, I would agree, yeah, I think it's the best. Just very quickly, Tom, what are we doing next week? Next week, I'm calling it the new wave of Spain because, you know, we all know Rioja, but this is wines from areas of Spain that have Lovely. really just opened up. Great. Tom, love it. As always, thank you very much.